the old internet wagwan this guy been a minute elden ring version 1.09 has dropped ray tracing has been added tried to get it working on debian 11 bullseye with a 3080 ti did not work so great ray tracing is enabled but everything renders black once you're in the game unless you turn it off so let's see if we can get that resolved turns out it's a driver issue what i had to do was actually upgrade to debian 12 bookworm the testing branch do that at your own risk and additionally i updated the linux kernel to 6.1 after that i upgraded the nvidia driver from 470 to 525 and then from there i was able to add in the following commands to the elden ring startup command list all of this was tested using Proton Experimental, so keep that in mind. You might want to set your compatibility tool to Proton Experimental before performing any of these changes. First thing you want to do is get DXVK Async and set that to on. And that processes compiling shaders separate from the graphical rendering process. That typically minimizes the stuttering that you experience in game. Next thing you want to do is set the Proton Hide NVIDIA GPU to zero, turn it off, and that makes sure that the correct NVIDIA GPU is detected. After that, you want to enable the Proton Enable NVAPI, so set it to one. This enables NVIDIA's NVAPI GPU support library. Then after that, for Vulkan Direct 3D configuration, you want to set DXR11 and DXR onto that config, and that's what enables ray tracing for you. Lastly, if you want to do this, feel free, don't have to, set game mode run and close it off with command, should be good to go. Game mode run is Feral Interactive's shortcut to change in CPU freak to performance, so gives you a nice little boost to your games when you're playing. The full command looks like this, you'll be able to copy it from the description below, add it to Elden Ring, and then launch. You might run into a problem where the game hangs for a bit before starting, or it might even crash after you enable ray tracing. If that happens, what you want to do is set ray tracing to off, close the game, restart the game, get into the game with ray tracing off, and then try and turn it on while you're in the game. After that restart, the game should be fine, should be good to go, and should be enjoying Elden Ring with ray tracing enabled. Here's some footage of what it looks like now, and yeah, happy playing guys. With all that said, this has been Kai, and remember no matter what distro you use, out of many, one Linux, give thanks.